Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. It's Tay again. Wait a second. This isn't the Dragon Ball Super Card game. No, this is not the Dragon Ball Super Card game. Uh, I don't so care. So we actually got some story. Oh my god. It's Seto Kaiba. Oh shit. Oh my it's god. It's Joey. It's Seto's chin. It... Yeah. No, Seto Kaiba's in the poster. Look. With his blue eyes. He is. So that's what he's pointing yes, out. Yes, he is. What? So we're running into Shoddy here. Ooh, Shoddy? Fuck. He looks. He looks like he hasn't slept in weeks. Oh, hey, God, it's, it, it's my it, it's my cameo. I want to kill myself. Same. I was summoned by Yuki's Millennium Item. Fucking millennials. Why won't he millennial, just let me go millen again? Millennial item. <laughs> my own millennial <laughs> item <laughs> is gathered here at this tournament. <laughs> My mission is to discover the secret of these millennial Bitch items. Spinners, am I right? <laughs> it's an item. It's an <laughs> item only for privileged people. Oh my god! Got to don't. You have to make sure that you have the millennial choker. Oh god! Oh. In, instead, instead of the millennium necklace, it's a millennial choker. Wasn't that wait? Was the ne wait? Was it necklace? I forget. Which one did before I? Have? Bakura has the ring. Oh, okay. Ishizu has the necklace. Shadi has the scales and the key. Uh, Yugi has the puzzle, obviously. Kaiba is going to be the one in possession of the rod, but the rod's usually in possession of Merrick. Yeah. Uh, with Merrick. Merrick's not in this game. Boo! Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Fuck Merrick this did game. not exist yet. I want to I wanna go sail not, away with him. Merrick did not exist yet. What? Unfortunately. This game should have made him exist. Um, who else is, uh, what, what else am I missing? Millennium Eye, Pegasus still has Millennium Eye. I see that mouse, you fuck. Touch his chest. What? And now we're back in this oh, weird little, we're in one like, of those fucking paintings in Persona 5. Art Museum Labyrinth. Are you me? No, I'm me. <laughs> but then, who are you? He looks really mad at me. Who are you? Like, what did I do? To be? I'm trying to help you. It's like, boy, you know how long I've been here. No. Have you ever just stood at someone and just stared at them, and they just kind of understood what you were trying to tell them, and they just kind of submitted to your will? Uh, well, like I, w I wish I could do that. I am the main character of an RPG. I am the silent protagonist. So. Oh. He's got a di uh, Digimon card. Yeah, he does have a Digimon card. We should pl play Digimon, guys. Let's let's build a Digimon deck and play Digimon. I only have Dragon Ball Super card game, like trading cards. All Is right. that okay? Can I still play Digimon? Yeah, as long as you let me bring my Magic the Gathering cards. No, those are oh, games. Jesus. No. Oh. no, we're we're talking about a cultured card game. Yeah, you sick fuck. Wow. So we're back, and Shadi still doesn't look like he's had um, an, an ounce of sleep. Shadi got man, go to bed, Shadi. Like go to bed. Shadi got some you really, you really tested me. He must have been really excited for this tournament. He just could not sleep. <laughs> oh, they're all blank. Boo. They're they're all blank. You, if oh, I summon one of those, if I summon one of those cards in a game, will it just be whatever monster no, I want it to be? No, so you have to put something in it. It's like, this is where Grandpa goes, and Mokuba. Those aren't the cards <laughs> we're, you're thinking of. Those those are two, those are different cards. So wait, so now we need the Sealed War Calcos so we can put people in them? That doesn't exist yet. God damn it. I mean, Merrick exists, so why doesn't the Sealed War Calcos right. exist? And we literally just saw this dude, but he's our first finals match. Uh, they changed the duel music for the finals match. There's four duelists you fight in the finals, just like in the preliminaries. Are they all do just we get to useless? fight? Do we do we get uh, to fight ourselves? A couple of them are. No, unfortunately like, not. We don't like punch ourselves in the face. No. It, it, so. Oh. What am I trying to? Oh yeah, I wanted to make Crimson Sunbird. So Shoddy, he has um, he has a weird 
he doesn't really have a theme, per se. I mean, he has something, but he's he's the weakest of the four by far. That's the reason why you're fighting him first. In fact, he's probably comparably worse than even Bandit Keith or Mai, because they at least consistently have monsters with 1,500 or more attack. This guy is very weak. He mostly has to fuse to make good cards, and he doesn't even fuse that often. Like, look at that. He has a fucking Fire Reaper. Bro, how did you get past the other duelist? He used his Millennium items well, to beat them upside the head. <laughs> well, what do you expect? What do you expect when you're sleep deprived? You, you think you're gonna have a good solid strategy? Yes. Apparently, he got through four other duelists and made it to the finals. Like, I don't know how else he could have done it without at least having something. But yeah, no, he has just a bunch of piss weak cards, and he'll occasionally summon for something that has like 2,000 attack or so, but... Again, your usual twin-headed Thunder Dragon and other like 2,000 plus attack fusions will be more than enough to take him out. I still haven't put in any other cheap cards besides Bright Castle in my deck, so it's like... I clearly don't need to actually cheat yet. Hey, you have two retarded chickens. I love these chickens. No, they're retarded. But they're so easy to make, and they're so strong. Why is a chicken of 2,300 attack? I'll never know. It's fucking retarded. Because it's a chicken from 100% on shoots. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chicken from 100%. <laughs> I never thought of that. That chicken will kill I believe it. On sight. You win. I, I find that Forbidden Memories and Duelist of Roses can be really easy games if you know exactly what you're doing. So, in the finals, each of the duelists that you defeat, you get their Millennium items. So, spoiler alert, the rest of the characters that we're going to duel in this tournament have Millennium items. I what? wonder who will fight. Cloud, uh, you, only got the, you only got the gold relic. You need to get a platinum relic. We're gonna fight Joey Wheeler. Um, we're gonna fight Weevil Underwood, Rex Raptor, and Seto Kaiba. And, and and no, yeah, he doesn't have any anything. So yeah, Seto Kaiba. Oh yeah, I cut because I was I split the video each of the duels up into their own separate video just in case any of them dragged out for Wait. too long. So we're gonna duel against Bakora next. Oh, spe yeah, speaking That's... of Bakora. He also looks sleep deprived. Why does everybody look sleep deprived right wait, now? Wait, 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 why is his hair purple? I thought it was white. Um, early in the series, his hair was purple. Why is he. And then yeah, they. No. Oh, he's Super Saiyan! He turns Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan Blanco. <laughs> what you're seeing now is my normal state. This is a. This is a Yami Bakura. But yeah, no, the designs uh, were not finalized yet. This was before the um, the series really took, actually even started. Uh, the an like the newer anime, so Bakora wasn't changed to white hair. He had like purplish, like light light purplish hair at first. Uh, Bakora's actually got some sort of strategy in mind. He typically puts down incredibly high defense monsters, uh, two thousand plus. We're talking about. He has Labyrinth Wall and Millennium Shield which are two of the greatest monsters in the game when it comes to defense. They have 3,000 defense each. Um, there's one right there. And if he puts one of those down, it's going to be a long game, because if you can't get something to punch over that 3,000 wall, you're not going to hit his life points at all. So this duel does run longer than the other duels, because I'm trying to like see if I can make anything else and not have to resort to Regeki. I'm also hoping that he'll put something else down that has 3,000 plus so that I can regeki multiple things that would give me a hard time. So I'm just playing the waiting game. You can also take advantage of their really shitty AI because they will try and swing at something they think they can swing at with a weaker monster. And Bakura is no exception. If he has like Aquamador out, he'll be like, oh, I'll fucking try and hit you with it. So, you know, take advantage of that as you can. What am I trying to do? Would you have a brain fart? Oh yeah, I decided. I didn't know if I wanted to make something else, but I decided. Yeah, no, I'll just make. You made just. Yeah, you made just any card twice. 
goddamn so, right, it, and I'll do it again. So mystical, so dark elf is just mystical elf, but as a dark elf, with the attack and, and defense flip, flip. Yeah, it's flipped. Okay, that's. Uh, in the actual card game, she has an effect. It's a detrimental one because she's a 2,000 attack monster at a time when 2,000 effect level fours were always had a detrimental effect. With because power creep hadn't happened yet, uh, I think her effect was like something like in order to attack with her, you have to pay a thousand life points or something like that. So like you win. Oh, so she's a glorified tune monster. She's she, yeah, she's not that good. But then again, I've I like followed the Yu-Gi-Oh card game for like a decade, so I can tell like certain cards really good, certain cards really bad. There's a lot of really bad cards early on. The ring, Get back to it bed, Bakura. Used him. It used him. Now I can go to sexually. bed. <laughs> he can. Tay is trying to keep us motivated by telling us "winner" in all caps. Tell her that in order to get motivated, you need to see boobies and the rest. I wish, but this game is rated E for everyone. No, -uh. not with mods. Quarterfinal match versus Pegasus. Mmm, Yugi Boy! You've come a long way, but now it's time for you to lose. He actually calls him Yugi Boy in this game. You know, if yes. you take his Millennium Eye, it's actually quite gruesome because it's his fucking eye. Alright, so he doesn't do it in this game. Uh, I make absolute mincemeat out of this man in this record thing. But I want to mention something right now Pegasus. One of the hardest fucking fights in the entire game if you don't have any prior, like, you know, brought cards over from a different memory card or cheated or anything like that. If you have little experience with fusing and your starter deck sucked, you didn't grind, whatever reason you might have. He's one of the hardest in the game for one reason, and that first card is usually not what he drops first turn. He usually drops a 2300 attack monster called Bickery Box, which is a fusion card otherwise. And he throws that thing down first fucking turn, 90% of the time. If you're lucky like I was, he won't drop it. But he usually does, and that is more than enough to take out anything you could make bar Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. So if you don't get Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, or at least Crimson Sunbird like I did in order to tie with it, almost going to have to restart that fight over. That's why I saved for each of the duels and just, you know, figured out from where... From there so that just in case anything really stupid happened uh, but he doesn't do that he also actually has a copy I kid you not of meteor black dragon 3500 attack point monster in his deck he almost never summons it but it is in that deck and he does do it sometimes he's more liable to use it after bickery box if he's dropped the bickery box first turn Pegasus has a lot of monsters with 2000 attack uh, he tries to have, like, a cartoonish theme besides the Meteor Black Dragon, but it doesn't really pan out well. Uh, like, he has a Flower Wolf that, like, doesn't, doesn't follow his theme. The actual two monsters aren't in this game, so he has, like, weird stuff like Parrot Dragon and Toon Alligator, which, I mean, it has Toon in the name, but it's not an actual Toon monster. Um, he has Dark Rabbit, which was the funny bunny that he would talk about in the show. Yeah, which um, was considered a Toon. He has, um, he has Illusionist Faceless Mage, which he did actually use in the show on Yugi in the very first episode, uh, in his, like, telepathic recorded duel. Um, he has, uh, he has a Meteor Dragon, just a regular Meteor Dragon. He has some powerful spells, uh, if he doesn't set down Bickery Box, another card he'll put down very early on is, I believe, um... Acid Trap Hole, or was it, or, or, or was it Invisible Wire? It's like this, it's card that like, if you try to swing at him with something that has a certain attack point threshold or lower, it'll just immediately trigger and your monster's gone. Um, you can also give out a lot of really good spell and trap cards if you're like, trying to like, uh, do like the tech, ver like the tech version of a victory. Uh, he can give you stuff like Bright Castle, actually, you get from him. Uh, he can also give you, very rarely, Megamorph, which is like Bright Castle, but two, like, like two levels of it. It'll give you a thousand attack each. 
I thought, wait, I thought, uh, Swords of Revealing Light had, like, a secondary effect, like, not only did it stop them from attacking for three turns, it also revealed any face-down cards. Yeah, but anything that's summoned after the swords is unaffected by the face-down effect. Hmm. So you can, like, it will reveal whatever was, was face-down at the time, yeah. but Swords of Revealing Light actually acts much like it did in... Uh, the like before the actual card game, like was finalized oh dear. in the actual card game. The only the only difference is is um. I don't believe it. Stays it. on the field for those three turns. But yes, uh, we beat Pegasus. So we got his. You eye. blinded him. We we literally removed his eye in the middle of a tournament. Don't you think that like this that could get police involved? Nah. Actually, of course. Like I said in the anime, I think that was like the most gruesome thing because he actually did lose an eye. But yeah, Pegasus, very notable duelist in this game, gives you really good cards, has really good cards. That's not set up, and, and if you're not cheating, uh, he's one of the hardest duels in the game. Uh, th I ended up lucking out. This is a Shizu. Her name is Isis in this game. Oh, God. Finalized. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're going to duel Isis in a submission. Uh, we need to beat them fun up. Fact, Wait, fun fact. Wait, is that a crush card? Yes, that's a crush card. And it does... It does. It works similar to how it does in the actual game, although it doesn't affect the opponent for three turns. It just does whatever uh, for one turn. Can you um, fuse one thing it I with mention, a dragon? No. You, All it does is just blow up anything he has out that has 1,500 or more attack. But, and it's just the one time. But, but anyway, one thing I want to mention about Ishizu's character. Isis? They didn't, final, they didn't finalize her character... So, as you can see, she looked very pissed off. That's because, uh, originally they wanted her to be a much more serious and a much less nice character. Really they, nice. Wanted her to be a, they, they wanted to, her to be a bitch. Oh yeah, I decided to throw uh, Red Eyes into the deck. Just I, like, slowly start adding cards that I wouldn't have normally had and just slowly make my deck overpowered. Yeah, Red Eyes. Just to, like, make some things interesting. Yeah, I had to do this, like... It was red eyes, so I was like, gotta show red eyes. No, you didn't have to reveal. But yeah, it, it, so Shizu's name was originally Isis, and she had very bitchy attitude to her. They they totally changed her character later on to be, you know, a much nicer, much more calm character. You know, I gotta admit, red eyes' model is actually pretty good. Oh yeah, the iconic characters, like, the iconic monsters, like red eyes and blue eyes, like, if they're not human, because the human ones, they still have a really hard time modeling them. Uh, they they do a pretty good job for a PS1 game of making you know decent models, which I would hope so, because this game came out after the PS2 had already come out, so late into the PS1's lifespan. Uh, I might actually go off on a limb and say I think that Red Eyes was like one of the best dragon models for a PS1 I've ever seen. I decide I'm gonna go on the defensive too, and I threw in a labyrinth wall here. Um, Ishizu does have. I'm gonna call her Ishizu because that's just what she's known as. Today. We don't support anyway, terrorism. Um, Ishi exactly. Sure. I don't support terrorism, so her name is Ishizu. Ishizu actually does have a theme. Uh, you notice she threw down Yumi earlier in the game. She actually has an ocean theme for the most part, so she'll throw down a lot of stuff that's gonna get buffed by it. So aqua fish. Uh, monsters like that. She does have a copy of Black Skull Dragon. I don't know why. She has a copy of Black Skull Dragon somewhere in her deck. It's much like Pegasus having the Meteor Black Dragon. They just have a random one-off monster that has an incredibly high attack that can obliterate anything that you have. Um, but yeah, Sea King Dragon. That's her theme. She has an ocean theme, which is nothing like her theme deck in the actual uh, show or manga, but... It's a pretty cool theme. She actually follows her theme more, as you can see. Dead. I, I do like dueling her, though. She's she's a better duel than uh, most of the other finalists. You know, that's also a difference I noticed. You have 8,000 life points like usual. When Duelist of Roses, you only have 4,000. To be fair, Duelist of the Roses, you also have to track down the fucking commander on the other person. The deck leader? 
inside, yeah, the deck leader in order to just, like, be able to actually damage them directly. So, I mean, I, 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 can, I can see why they, you know, made it 4,000 in that game, because having it be 8,000 would drag ass, and the matches in that game already take long enough. Well, because they went the full strategy route, so it takes longer. Exactly. Oh, you, you just did that to end it. Nope, he didn't have enough attack points. Oh. Yeah. I do it on purpose, though, because I know that she's going to go after her, my Mystical Elf, which I can then end the game the next turn. Because I didn't... Like, I was going to end it regardless, unless she threw out Black Skull Dragon, which I was fucking praying that she wouldn't. Because Black Skull Dragon can absolutely end me. Like, I don't have anything in this deck yet that could stand up to that thing. Just like with Pegasus, like, I was fucking terrified. Like, I was hoping he would not show, like, the shit that he normally does to me. And he didn't. Oh, Do dear. you have a paper shredder? She, in your deck? she gave, she <laughs> gave you the D. Yes. <laughs> wow, she's pissed. Uh, are you sure that's not Chi Chi? We got the millennial choker, guys. Oh, yeah, now choker. Any, anyway, uh, that's actually gonna be all for this part because we gotta save the real Seto Kaiba for the next part. Cause, but we will see you next time.